Hi guys, it's me, Galaxy Star, and today I'm in the kitchen. We're baking potato. We're cooking today. So we are going to be making sea lettuce soup. Oh. I know it sounds a little weird, but it's gonna be delicious. I hope. So I got my sea lettuce, seaweed. I got it from the ocean. So yeah, I'm gonna try it. Okay, that, that was a little piece, but I mean, it was still big. I mean, I prefer it like in seaweed, I mean in sushi, but that, was not, that wasn't that bad. So, we are making sea lettuce soup, and for how to make it is you need four cups chicken stock. You need two sheets of ulva. You need two eggs. I have my eggs over here. And you need salt and pepper. One teaspoon of sesame oil. A teaspoon. And some green scallions. So what we're gonna do first is take our chicken stock, take our measuring cup, and you're going to fill it up to one cup four times. Try right, open it. Try right. open it. Excuse me. Okay, I got it open. Who stinks? So now you're going to pour it to the one cup. I hope I have enough for four cups. There we go. One cup, and you pour it into your pot. My pot. Okay, one cup. Two cups. Now you're gonna do three cups. I think I might have enough. Probably gonna use all this chicken broth. Okay, now, and our last cup. What's up? Wait, I have more in it. I might as well just add all of it, the rest in. There's like barely any. Oh, it stinks. Yeah, that is stinky. Okay, let's move that out of the way. Now we are going to put two sheets of ukulava. Okay, that's one sheet. And two, one, two sheets. So I like used all of it and I have little crumbs left. Yum. Oh, I used up all my ukulava. That's what I was planning to do. Anyway, okay, now we're gonna add two eggs in. So, I'm gonna take this, because I like using that to crack my eggs in. Now we're going to take one egg, place it down on the cutting board, and two eggs. Now you're going to crack it. And then if you don't have a sink close by and you have a, then just put it back into the cake, into the thing that it came with. And then later on you can um, put it in 
your sink or compost. Now you gotta wash your hands very good with soap. Because raw egg is very bad for you. You can get sick if you don't wash your hands with soap and water. If you just wash it with water, it's still not good. Because then once you eat, and if you don't wash your hands when you eat, that's bad because you can get lots of germs. Now, take a fork or a spoon or whatever you make, or a whisk, and then you're just gonna stir it up like that until it's nice and bulky. Now we're going to put this, the fork, into the sink. Fast, so it doesn't drip. So it should look like this. Okay, and then you're going to pour it right on in. <laughs> Weird combo right now. Here. Look at that. It's all crazy. Okay. Now I better put the eggs away so they don't get raw. Okay, put that away. Now we're going to take a scallion and we're going to take two off. And then you're gonna cut it with a knife, but if you're younger than me or aren't allowed to use a knife yet, then get an adult's help. So then you're gonna cut them into tiny pieces. And if you have a better knife, use that. <laughs> this is the only knife I have right now. All my other good knives are getting washed. Okay, and then if you have a butt like the bottom of it, you're going to put it either in the compost or in your sink. So you should have it like that. You don't want a lot or anything like that because it can taste weird and funny. So you don't want a lot of it. And I really hope you guys try this because <laughs> I've never tried it. So first, there's the first thing for everything. You might like it, you might not. And that's okay. So there we go. Be very careful with the knife. Now you're gonna put it in the sink or farther away from you so then you don't get stabbed later. And if you get cut, that's okay. Just be very careful. It might hurt a little bit, but we're strong. <laughs> but you wanna be very careful. And when you cut it, it could hurt your eyes because it's strong. Okay, now I'm going to take you over to my stove and we're going to watch it cook. Okay, there we go. Shift the middle. Now, next step on the recipe list is bring stock to a boil. So you need to light it and keep it at high for like a little bit and then get a stirring spoon and you're gonna stir it up. And it says, bring stock to a boil, and add sea lettuce, and stir when sea lettuce is soft. Stir it. So you wanna stir it when the sea lettuce is soft. And it says, stir it well. Now, right there. Okay, beaten egg 
heat and boil for a few seconds. Then remove from heat. Add salt and pepper too. Okay. Then it wants us to taste it and add sesame oil garnish with onion. So I have to put some onion in it. I don't think I have any onion. So, it's smells pretty good. Sorry, that's my family. Okay, we're gonna stop mixing it now. And yeah. Now we're gonna wait. So, I forgot to say this in the beginning, but Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. So, if you subscribe, you should be, and there's like a little circle that says Galaxy Girls. So you should hit that, and it should be gray, and you should hit it, and then you get to see all our other, all my other videos that I've made. My sister just joined a few minutes ago. Um, I'm going to, be posting a new video soon of me playing the piano um i really hope you see that it's a very cool look, new video that i never made before of me playing the piano so i really need you guys to watch it because this is my first time playing the piano okay now it says remove from heat okay so i just to wait a little bit, turn it down. So you're gonna turn it down once it like bubbles like this. So you should see it like bubbling. And if it bubbles like a, if it bubbles, then you need to turn it down like to seven or six or lower. And if it still bubbles like that, that means it should be done really soon. Now I need to check if it's soft. It feels very soft. And it's cold. It means it's not done. It's very soft. Okay, now I'm gonna get my little thing. Okay, it's very hot. Tastes very good. Okay, now we're gonna take it off the stove after a while. Now, be careful with this part. I'm gonna take it off. Right there. Now, now we're going to add the sesame oil. Move this over. Okay, so how much sesame? One half of sesame. Okay, good. I have one half of teaspoon. Teas one teaspoon of sesame. So then you're going to put it over here. Add that in. It should bubble. It's gonna be like little bubbles if you don't mix it yet. Like, see that? The yellowish stuff is the sesame oil. Now we're gonna add salt. Okay. Now we're going to add pepper. Okay. Now, let me get to my other directions. Now it wants me to remove from heat and salt and pepper too. Taste and taste and sesame oil garnish with onion. Okay, and then we serve it. So let me pour it into a little bowl so I can like taste it. Let's taste 
some of this. Please be super, please be good. Okay, I want this to be good. I'm gonna take either a fork or a spoon, but I'm gonna take a spoon. Mmm, this is really good. <laughs> yeah, this is really good. You can really taste that. There's a, oh, and this tastes so good. The scallions, you can really taste it. It is very good. And the broth tastes good. And with this, the pepper, you can really taste that too. Well, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like yours. I really hope you like your sea lettuce soup. I think it's really good. So I really hope you guys like it too. Bye. Oh, and make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell.